What's up, everyone? Today is Monday, November 25th at 7.38 a.m. Today is a free video watch list day. Uh, if you don't know, every Monday I put out a free video watch list on YouTube, and then every day I give a video watch list to the members. Uh, before I start, I want to talk about our free webinar course that we have. So if you're new to trading or new to MIC or just curious about you know what the market is, me and Bao put together a free two-hour trading course for non-members. It's available at myinvestingclub.co. Uh, we do limited space every single week, so you have to click here to reserve your spot. Um, let's start. So before I start, friendly reminder that this is a shortened week. There is no trading on Thursday. The market is closed on Thursday. Historically, this week has uh, been known to have the most low float runners ever. Uh, this happens every single year during this time. If you look back at Lake AQXP, uh, KBIO, dries, all that stuff usually happens during this time in November. And the reason why is because it's a shortened week, a lot of people are on vacation, so the robots kind of take control and go crazy. So uh, historically, this week has been known for a lot of low float runners, so be careful, um, be patient, maybe size down. Uh, and if you see anything with a low float, nano float, anything under 2 million shares of float, you probably should be careful with it. So now that that's out of the way, let's get started. So EYEG, um, nailed this one the other day. Uh, I mentioned to the guys in the room that there was a 950 seller consistently. And if you look at this, one, two, three, four, five times I rejected that 950. And that was just the key for this setup. So what I'm looking for uh, today is I'm looking for a push towards the 750 level with a plan to add around this 770 level. Um, if this kind of, let's see how much meat there is. Yeah, so this stock, um, if it does break this, you know, let's call it, you know, 670 level, then there might be potential downside all the way to six bucks. But I find it very hard to chase something like this on weakness. So if I am kind of chasing weakness, it would be with very small size just to protect myself. ASLN, uh, I like this setup a lot, but the problem is that we need a pop. So what I'm looking for on this setup is I'm looking for a morning push, uh, red to green rejection ideally, right? So I'm looking for a push towards this level to reject, right? Call it 170 to 180, and then looking to add, if I can, towards this two whole dollar mark. So I want to use the whole dollar two as my resistance guide and this red to green level as my guide. So in the morning, I'm gonna have some fantasy orders here and here, and this is a type of stock that I really wouldn't chase weakness on because these cheap stocks under $2, they're very easily uh, able to manipulate it. So I don't wanna really be involved there. So just basically waiting, just gonna have my fantasy orders. SRNE, I was really excited for this in the morning, um, and now it's just a dud. So, I mean, perfect world. We get a 250 half dollar push, right? I want it whole and half dollar marks are very important, but you can see 210 is a VWAP level here. I see another resistance level towards 230. So on a setup like this, I would have some fantasy orders 230 and 250 with a plan to stop out about, stop out higher than this pre-market high. AQST. I'm um, not really in love with this setup. I mean, if you look at the daily chart, go back more. If you look at the daily chart, you can see there's a very, very clear resistance level around this, you know, 830, 850 mark, right? 830, I usually round it up towards 850, you know, to make the math easier for myself. Hold on half dollar marks. You can see that this 830 level rejected it, and I think that's exactly where it rejected uh, pre market as well. So this 830 level is very important. So coming into the morning, what I would do for myself is, again, this is not a setup that I'm in love with. This is not a setup that really makes sense to me. But if we kind of pop towards this 820, 830 level, uh, that would be a short that I'm interested in, kind of with risk up to 850. But in a perfect world, you know, this shit just pops towards 8 and then tanks. Uh, and if that's the case, you know, I don't mind taking a small piece. And last but not least, this KZIA. Um, not really too interested in it. I mean, if you look at the daily chart, it's kind of big breakout move. I mean, like, I don't really want to get involved here. So just going to kind of keep this, uh, 
just kind of remind people not to really short this one today. Take it slow, take it easy. Uh, my favorite ones of the day are ASLN if it kind of bounces and SRNE if it bounces because those have already tanked. So I'm basically just trying to join the uh, downside. So that's basically it. I'm trying to keep it short and simple. No trading on Thursday. Market is closed. And then catch me around 11 a.m. today for a YouTube Live. Thanks, everyone.